This is a bicycle lesson from Peterson Ski and Cycle on filling tires with air. It is important to know the different valve stems, Schrader, which resembles the normal car tire valve, and Presta, which is the skinny valve non-cyclists will never even see. The manner in which you use your pump will be determined by the valve head. Some pumps will have two holes for the different valve stems, a skinny one for Presta and a larger one for Schrader. Other pumps will have just one hole and can be designated as a smart head. These heads will know the difference between the different valve stems and will adjust accordingly. Last but not least, you will have a pump which will only be able to fill Schrader valves. In this case, you will need to use an adapter to modify the Presta valve into a Schrader valve. Okay, let's fill some tires with air. The Schrader valve will be the simplest. Remove the cap. Lubricate the pump head with saliva or if preferably some type of lubricant to make it easier to slide the pump head on and off. Slide the pump head onto the valve stem. Lift up the lever on the pump head to seal the connection. Start pumping until you reach the desired tire pressure, which is normally embossed or written on the side of the tire. When the target pressure is reached, Lower the pump head lever and slide the head off of the stem being careful not to shake the stem back and forth. If head is difficult to remove, try twisting clockwise and counterclockwise instead of rocking. Rocking the stem back and forth or left and right might break the stem at the base and now you're on to the next lesson of how to change a flat tire. Remember to replace the cap and now you're ready to ride. The Presta valve will be slightly different. Remove the cap, unscrew the little teeny tiny nut at the top of the valve stem all of the way until it stops. It should stop when it reaches the end. If it doesn't, it's probably broken and it's time to replace it. Depress the valve core with your finger to break the seal. Lubricate the pump head and slide it onto the valve stem using the appropriate hole. Lift up the lever on the pump head to create a seal. Start pumping until your target pressure is reached as displayed on the side of the tire. Once you have reached your target pressure, lower the lever on the pump head and slide pump head off of the stem, being careful not to rock the stem back and forth. Twisting is always better than rocking, but sliding directly off is best of all. Screw the little teeny tiny nut back down to the valve body, replace the cap, and go for a ride. Now for the Presta valve adapter. What we are going to do is modify the Presta valve to act like a Schrader valve. The way this is done is by removing the Presta cap, loosen the little teeny tiny nut at the top of the Presta valve stem, depress the valve core briefly to break the seal. Screw on the Presta valve adapter, being sure to put it on the correct way. The threaded part should be on top and the knurled part is onto the valve stem or towards the rim of the tire. Start pumping. Once desired pressure is reached, unscrew the adapter. Tighten the little teeny tiny nut at the top of the valve stem, then screw the adapter back onto the valve stem so you don't lose it. It can live here until the next time you need it. This has been a quick lesson from Peterson's Ski and Cycle in Blakesley, Pennsylvania, where friends don't let friends ride junk.